My name is Kulat Vilaisak. I am the creator of Bajillion Dollar Properties on CISO. Congratulations on season two of the show. Thank you. Now, how did you get your start on creating comedic shows? Um, I went through the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in Los Angeles in Hollywood. Um, performed there. Uh, got to be part of the, an amazing community. And then started getting work through my connections there. Wow. So yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, it is, unfortunately, relationships, or fortunately for me, relationships. <laughs> Two, you know, but you got to be ready when those opportunities come, you know what I mean? I'm hitting her boobs, no matter how I move, we, our boobs we are hitting. Like, we're just the way. I told you, we need to pitch a show. Where is this a talk show? Just hitting each other And I feel like, or we coordinate down or up. <laughs> Like if two you little wear Legos. A little bit higher heels, it would be. Oh, perfect. so it's on me. <laughs> it's on you. Okay. Because I'm wearing flats. All right. Fair enough. I'll take it. <laughs> First of all, I am so excited about a woman and a woman of color <laughs> producing and creating a show. Me too. I am excited. It's, um, you know, I think I do it better. <laughs> take it, girl. You do it. Give that attitude. Yeah. We need more women Thank and more you. women of color yes, showing please. their stories. <laughs> because yes. if they don't, I mean, sometimes when I watch a show and they're like, I had an Asian friend and he was on a TV show and, they were, and I was like, those are all different kinds of Asians people. And he's like, Cherry, they just literally do a Asian and they just put all the different knits in Yeah. Like, they can't differentiate. And he's like, no. no, not yet. But I feel like now we're, we're demanding it. Yes. We're saying so that we want... We want our television and our media and our art to be a reflection of who we are and what we see around us in our communities. Yes. Yeah, and the great thing about like the internet is that we can voice that in ways that we couldn't do before. I know these new streaming platforms have allowed so much more creativity as well as forcing them to create content and accept content from people that they normally would say, nah, I'm going to do it with a white boy, but thank you. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's a high honor. <laughs> I'm clapping. It is a high honor to be able to be in this position. I'm really grateful for it. Um, but I do feel that I deserve it. You're working hard. <laughs> and you're working your connections. No, I'm working hard. I'm working hard. And that's great because this is my dream. It's like, it's to be able to create a show and to run in and to work with like the best people. It's a, the most talented team of people. Like, that's all that someone could ever hope for. I mean, it's all I've ever hoped for. And you and your husband are working on another show. Can you tell me about the other CISO show you guys work on together? No, this is the only show me and Scott Ackerman work together on. He has other shows on CISO, like Take My Wife. Yes, he said that was you. No, I'm his wife. Yes. <laughs> but it's a, it's a show starring Cameron Esposito and uh -huh. Rhea Butcher, and they are wives together. And he's producing it, and the title of it is Take My Wife, but that it is about their lives. See, I couldn't tell because he said the good wife was based on your life. <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, so you were a former governor uh -huh. of Illinois, and uh -huh. you had uh -huh. an affair with a uh, prostitute? And he's like, no, with three prostitutes, they changed it. I was like... But he said it was such a straight face. I was like, my husband has a dry humor. It's very, a, dry. Uh, it's very dry. <laughs> Most people don't know, is it a bit or is it real? And I can tell you that I always know. You, well, yes, that's how you are able to keep your marriage happy. That's true. C keep me guessing. Now, did you guys meet here in L.A.? I did. I, I met him uh, right when I got off the proverbial bus from Minnesota. You're from Minnesota? I'm from Minnesota, yeah. I'm from Iowa. Uh, hello, Midwest. I worked at Shakopee Amusement Park one summer. They tricked us into going by saying it, Valley Fair, yes. that it was exactly like Disney. And we got there and we were like, either. this is not like Disney. Not quite like Disney. Um, I, I, I grew up in a city called Egan, which is in the District 196, where Shakopee is. Um, yeah, I grew up. Uh, I met my husband when I was 19. Oh, wow. Yeah, in Hollywood. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Isn't that crazy? What is a culture shock moving from Minnesota to L.A.? I know I had a major culture shock moving from Iowa to D.C. I'd never seen so many black people. I've never seen so many Asian people in one, <laughs> one like, area. Like, I used to be the only minority. Uh -huh. It was, like, me, a few black girls, and, you know, uh, somebody from another country that was, like, a foreign exchange student. <laughs> 
and we were in a step team, and that was fun. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. It's so I hardly ever see any other people of color from the Midwest, yeah. but when you do, we have the you stories where you're like, whenever I see a black person, I would go like, hi, hi, hi and you go over and talk to them, and if you talk long enough, they'd know someone from your family. Well, yeah, because, <laughs> again, <laughs> yeah, exactly, there's only five. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my God, you're hilarious. Oh my God, oh my God. Now, you're going to make me subscribe to CISO so I can watch your damn show. Uh, I hope so. Like, it's so good. There's so many good shows that take my wife that you that you now know about produced Cam Cameron Esposito, Rhea Butcher. There's Hidden America with Jonah Ray. There's Harmon Quest with Dan Harmon, the creator of Community. And then there's like a backlog of all these amazing old SNLs and these English shows like The IT Crowd and uh, Dark Place and just it, all all of like the Monty Python. So if you're a comedy aficionado, like you should only get CISO. You guys are repping CISO hard. Look, I mean, CISO. <laughs> CISO love, wait, much love CISO. CISO. <laughs> CISO. CISO. You're allowed to do that. CISO? CISO? <laughs> CISO. <laughs> oh my God, I'm crushing so hard on you. you. It was so good to meet you. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you. And if you know any single guys, <laughs> I'm not married. <laughs> I've okay. asked everyone. You, I know, I know, I noticed it. <laughs> I noticed it, and I think that's the most thorough thing to do. <laughs> You're in a position where people are passing by, and you can ask that question. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.